caught in the girls' changing room. I went into the girls' changing room, when they were at their netball lesson. I tried on their clothes, and got caught. I'm Tom. Let me tell you about when I was 15 at school. I was a naughty boy, and I was always playing tricks on the girls. It's not because I didn't like them, it was because I wished I could be like them, and wear nice clothes, instead of boring boys' clothes. Girls' clothes are so much prettier. Anyway, one day I was supposed to have games, but I hid in the bushes outside the changing rooms. I waited until the girls from my class left the changing room for the sports field. I thought now is the ideal time to take a look around the girls' changing room, and maybe have a bit of fun with the girls' clothes. So I crept from the bushes over to the girls' changing room, and pushed the door open quietly. It was nothing like the boys' changing room, it was tidy, and had a lovely smell of perfume. Luckily nobody was there, and I wandered around freely muddling all the clothes up, so that nobody would have their own. I thought that's a great joke to play on them. I thought, they won't be back for some time, so what else naughty can I do? I couldn't really think of anything, then I saw a lovely pair of girls' white lace panties on the bench. I picked them up, and they were so soft and smelt lovely. I thought how nice it would be to put them on, and feel what they were like to wear. So I took my clothes off, and put on the panties. Oh, they felt so nice against my skin, so silky, and I looked in the mirror to see myself in them. They looked lovely, and I was feeling quite sexy. I decided to put on a white lace bra that I found. It was a bit difficult to put on, but eventually I managed to do up the clasp at the back. I looked in the mirror, and I started to look more like a girl. I pushed my socks in the bra to fill them out, and it felt lovely. I thought, why hadn't I done this before? I thought, why not dress in a school uniform that had been left by the girls, when they put on their gym kit? So I found a lovely tartan skirt, put it on, with a girl's short sleeve blouse and tie. Next was a pair of white ankle socks, and a pair of black school shoes. I loved looking at myself in the mirror, and wished I could always dress like this. I had forgotten the time. I was enjoying myself so much parading up and down, and looking in the mirror. Suddenly the changing room door swung open, and in rushed twenty or thirty girls. I couldn't hide anywhere, and one of the girls saw me and shouted. Girls, we have a new girl here, who must have missed the gym class. Isn't she lovely? I was blushing so much, and then the girls all surrounded me, lifting my skirt and checking me over. Look one said she's even got some pretty panties, and a bra on. Well, she is lovely said another, but I think we should help her finish dressing. I thought, oh no, what else? I couldn't run or do anything as I was surrounded by so many shouting, and laughing girls. They sat me on a bench, and started to put makeup on my face. They put on foundation, mascara on my eyelashes, eyeliner and eyeshadow. Other girls plucked my eyebrows, and penciled them into shape. Another was in charge of lipstick which was a light red color. I thought that must be it, but no. I had fairly long hair, and they put in a central parting, and bunched my hair into ponytails. Oh doesn't she look lovely now? A really beautiful girl they said. They took me to the mirror and I was so surprised, that I really looked like a girl now, in lovely girly clothes. Something I had always wanted, but I couldn't tell them that. I said, can I go now? Of course not they shouted, we want to take you out to the playground as it's break now. I thought, oh no, all the school will see me dressed as a girl. They bundled me out of the door, and surrounded me, pushing me into the playground. I couldn't get away. I was trapped. They took me into the center of the playground, and then they all ran away, leaving me on my own. I tried to hide my face, and then the rest of the school surrounded me, chanting what a lovely girl, what a lovely girl. I was blushing so much, and this time the joke was on me. 
The teacher came to see what was happening, and took me into the school. The teacher took me to the head teacher's office, and told me to sit outside and wait. I sat down and straightened my dress over my knees. I thought, why did I do that? But I did feel like a girl. I seemed to be there forever, then the teacher came out, and told me to go into the head teacher's office. I held my head down in shame. The head teacher was Mrs. Wilmslow. She was in her fifties, but a stern lady. Well young lady, she said. I hear you have been naughty, and have caused a lot of mess in the girls' changing room. I said, sorry miss. Well, you should be, she said. You have teased the girls too much in the past, and now it's your turn. I have spoken to your parents on the phone, and told them what has happened, said the head teacher. They are in agreement with me on your punishment. As you know, we don't have corporal punishment at this school. So it has been decided, that you will come for the rest of the week, to school, dressed as a girl in your school uniform. Do you understand? She said. Yes miss. I said. Head bowed. And when you get home, you will not be allowed to take off your uniform until bedtime. Yes miss. I said again. Well you can go now Tom, she said, or should I call you Tina? So I left the head teacher's office, and sat the rest of the day in my girl's uniform, with everyone calling me Tina. The week was very difficult, but I never teased the girls again. I had enjoyed being a girl, but I didn't let anyone know. I made friends with the girls afterwards, and I would go to their parties, and let them make me up, and put me in pretty party dresses, and underwear. I was glad, I had dressed up that day. Now I am older, I dress in girly underwear and clothes quite often, and go out clubbing with the girls dressed as a girl. It's so much fun, and the boys always ask me for a dance. I love being all girly, and I'm pleased that I got caught that day at school. I shall never forget that day which changed my life. If you like my story then please press like and subscribe to my channel. Story written and produced by Phil Gurley.